help you to photograph a rolling spot and in this tutorial i want to show you how I easily calibrate this image in camera or photoshop or you can use the same steps to color grade your photos in lightroom if at all you use lightroom as a raw processing software so right now i have camera raw for this tutorial and this is the raw file taken using the canon 60 camera and this image was shot at iso 100 using a 70 200 millimeter lens that is the tamron and i shot it at f 4.5 and the shutter speed was one out of 160th of a second and you can see this is the before and after before after that we are going to be achieving by the end of this video so without further ado let's get started and if at all you haven't subscribed this channel simply subscribe and don't forget to hit the like video or hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so you can see the before and after and i'll simply come and i reset this photo to the default so that you can understand and learn everything about processing or color grading in the camera filter so the very first thing i tend to do when it comes to editing my raw photos is simply changing the picture profile of the photo so what i would do i just come to the profile and this is only going to be available for those people that shoot in raw and if at all you shoot in jpeg this feature won't be accessible for you within the camera raw filter so just come the profile and change it from adobe color and change it to the one you prefer so for my case i shot it in landscape in camera so i'm just going to choose landscape and you can see this gives me a more vibrant look and after doing that i prefer images to be warm because warm images are easier to color grade and they have richer skin tone so i'm just going to come the temperature right here and take up the temperature slider just a little bit higher up to around 5800 and you can see now the skin looks better and it looks warm enough and after doing that the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to come to the highlights and take the highlights down because i want to get back the information within the skin that was part of belonging within the range of the hot spots you know simply come and do the same for the whites and now the skin is looking uniform and we have gotten rid of the hot spots in the forehead area and after doing that i just come to the shadows and open up the shadows slightly just like that and i'll take the blacks down slightly to add some contrast to the image then i'll come to a contrast and add a tiny bit of contrast to around five is okay for this photo then after doing that you can see what we have so far before and after but this is not all regarding the color grading so i'll just come straight down to my color mixer tool within camera raw and some people if i told you have an older version of photoshop it is going to be known as the hsl panel or the hue saturation and luminance panel within the camera raw filter or lightroom so after doing that we're just going to start color grading and color grading is going to take place in both the color grading tool or panel and also the color mixer panel within camera raw so i'll just come and open up the color mixer first and after doing that i'll just come to my hue slider because i just want first of all deal with the skin tone so if i told you are to zoom in by pressing ctrl plus on the keyboard you can see that we have some magentas within the skin tones and some reds falling all over the place so what i'll do i'll simply come to the hue slider and what you have to understand about the hue slider when you're moving the hue slider to a given direction you're trying to make that color look like the color either on top of it or beneath it so by this i mean if i told her to first of all target the greens for illustration i'll simply take the green side that was the right hand side and you can see as i'm moving the green slider that was the right hand side i'll be making the green color or the greens look like a color below it which is the aquas and if at all i take the slider that was the opposite end i'll be making the greens look like a color on top of it which is the yellows so that is basically how the hue slider works so for whichever color that is here that is how it is going to be affecting the image depending on the direction you move the pointer so after understanding that i'm just going to first of all come to my oranges and i'll simply make the oranges a little bit more on the yellow side just like that and i'll eliminate the reds by making them look like the 
oranges by taking the red slider towards the orange side just like that and that is going to eliminate the reds within the skin tone and after i have done that the only thing i'm going to do basically i'll just come to my saturation and i'll simply slightly take up the saturation of the oranges a tiny bit saturation basically is the intensity of a given color so after doing that i'll just come to the luminous and simply take it down or take down the saturation or the luminous luminous is the brightness or darkness of a given color so you can make the oranges darker you can make the oranges brighter so that is what luminous does so i'll just make the oranges slightly darker it was negative four it is okay for me so i'll just come back to the hues and i play around with the greens right here so i'll take the greens towards the aquas just like that and this is going to over saturate the greens so i'll come back and i simply do the same for the yellows just like that to eliminate the yellows so that the subject is not competing with the background in this case then i'll come to the saturation and simply desaturate both the yellows and the green so I'll just slightly take this down so i'll just take the green slider down slightly and right now we have such a look but this is not all so we're just going to go straight to our second so this is the before and after for the color mixer tool and you can see the difference so after that we're just going to come straight to the color grading panel and with this you can either add a given color to the midtones the shadows and the highlights so how this basically is going to work we have to come for example for the midtones you can add a given color to the midtones so you you click in the middle and move this pointer to whatever color you want to affect the image so the closer it is to the edges the more intense that color is going to be and the closer it is to the center the less intensity of that color that you're going to be having so for my case i'm just going to add a tiny bit of oranges to my midtone so i just come and add a tiny bit of the oranges just like that to complement the skin tone and i'll just come to the highlights and simply add a tiny bit of the cooling effect by turning this towards the cool side which is the blues just a tiny bit and you can see what the color grading has contributed this photo so this is a before and after it is very subtle and it is not too much like it was meant to be and after doing that if at all you have overdone it you can simply come and you balance it out depending on what you really want as a person who is doing the color grading so right now this looks okay and this is a before after before after and if i told the oranges are a little bit too much for your liking you can come back to the color mixer tool and come the oranges and simply desaturate them i think this looks okay and this is the before after before after so this is how you can easily edit and color grade using the camera filter or even lightroom and if at all you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel and after doing all the color grading you can simply click open to open the image into photoshop for more adjustments and skin retouching so this is it don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating